how to configure your new laser with Lightburn. My name's Jim and this is the Edge of Tech. So you got a new laser and all over the forums and all over Discord you keep hearing about a program called Lightburn. Well I'm here to tell you that Lightburn is simply awesome. It can do the function of many different applications all in one. But how do you connect your laser to it? Well that's what we're going to go through today. This is going to be a very quick video. In this video, I'm going to assume a couple things. Number one, you know how to download and install Lightburn. The link will be in the description below. Number two, you have your laser built, you know how to turn it on, and you know how to plug the USB cable from the laser into your computer. Assuming all of those things, which are very simple, we're going to move on from there. Let's do it. Okay, so you installed Lightburn from the link in the description below. You turned on your laser, you plugged the USB cable into it, and then into your computer. And now, this is where we're at. Go on over and find your Lightburn icon, which will look like this. Double click it, and that will open Lightburn. It'll go full screen, and the first thing it's gonna ask you to do is find that laser. So the first thing I like to do is hit the Find My Laser button. It says, be sure your device is connected via USB, and click the Next button. So we're gonna click Next there. And if your laser is connected and plugged in, you're going to find that it should find it. If it doesn't, I'm going to show you how to set it up manually in one second. But if it does, this is what it's going to do. We know it's a Gerbil controller that's 400 by 430 millimeters. I'm using the Ortur Laser Master 2. And this shows that it's on COM3 and it's running at this baud rate. It's going to use G-code to send to the laser as well. That's perfect. So I want to hit Add Device. It says, where is the origin of your laser? Well, on my laser, on the Ortur Laser Master 2, it's in the front left. And you can find this out on your laser by powering the laser on and finding out where it goes to start. When you first power your laser on, it's going to go to the home position. In my case, front left. And I want it to auto home on laser startup every time so it finds that home position. So I'm going to hit next. It says, that's it. You're done. We're connected. We have about a 16 by 17 inch build area. Uh, the origin at, is at the front left. We're using uh, Gerbil over USB. So hit finish and hit OK. It's going to wait and connect it. And when it does, it's actually going to home the laser. So close that box that pops up. And the first thing you want to do is close light burn after this. So once you install your laser, uh, I prefer to close light burn down just like that and then fire light burn back up that will turn it on it'll look for your device and if it doesn't come to the bottom right side here and click com3 because we know that's where it said it found it now we wait for connection it says it's okay it homed and it says it's okay so we hit the little x there and that's it now your laser is officially connected to Lightburn and you can do whatever you want. It shows the build surface here and you're ready to go. So that's it. It was super easy. We connected automatically using the Ortur Laser Master 2. But I tell you what, what if you have a different model? Or what if Lightburn doesn't find it automatically? Well, let's go through that real quick now. So you open up Lightburn and your device list comes up and you run find my laser, but you can't find it. Now what we need to do is actually create it manually. So you're gonna click create manual. We know that it's a GRBL or Gerbil. So I'm gonna click on that. I know that I'm using USB and this is for the Ortur Laser Master 2. Yours could be a little bit different, but uh, for the most part, it should be the same as long as you choose the right size and if you have a, a Gerbil controller. Um, I know I want to keep it just called Gerbil. It doesn't matter. I could call it LM2 if I want to. And then I know this is a 400 by 430. So I'm going to type in 400 by 430. I'm going to hit next. Uh, I know that it homes in the front left, just like we talked about before. And I want it to auto home on startup. Hit next and finish. And that is it. So it's going to try to find it. It's not going to right away. I always like to close Lightburn down and then reopen it. Once it's reopened in the bottom right side, we know that we found the laser on COM3. So I'm going to click COM3. It'll go through the homing procedure. It'll say it's homing. You can hear the laser home and then we are good to go. 
Now I know we have a 400 by 430 build area. We're using Gerbil. I know that it's connecting to the laser because it auto-homed. If I go up here to edit, and I go down here to device settings, and I go to additional settings, these are some settings that might not be correct. So what I like to do is click the read from controller button. Once you do that, it'll actually find all the settings from the controller. I hit OK, and now we're ready to rock and roll. And that's it. Now you have your new laser connected to Lightburn. And Lightburn is a very, very powerful software. You can do everything right inside Lightburn for the most part, and I really like to use it. Don't forget, there's a link in the description below. If you wanna download it, it's not an affiliate link. All you have to do is click that link, it'll go to Lightburn, and if you've not used it before, you get a 30-day free trial. So check it out. I suggest you try it because I tell you, you're gonna love it. Well, I know this video is short and sweet, but I hope you guys learned something today. Keep burning. Hey everybody, I hope you guys liked today's video. Give me that thumbs up if you did. Hit that subscribe button right here and click the bell if you want to be notified anytime we go live on Monday nights for hot makes or anytime a great new video like this drops. You guys rock. Have you seen this one?